Use a hundred chart to add lesson 8.4. We can use a hundred chart to count on by tens or ones. It's very important that you know going across is a row and going down is a column. To count on by ones, we count each square in a row going across. 12 plus 4, we start at the 12 and we count on four squares in the row. 1, 2, 3, 4. We land on 16. 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. 19 plus 5, we start at 19. We count on 5 and it'll take us to the next row. 19 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's equal to 24. We had to go to the next row to move 5 squares. We start with the bigger add end and count on 56 plus 9. We start at 56, count on 9 to the next row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 56 plus 9 is equal to 65. Seven plus fifty-two. We start with the larger add in fifty-two. We find it on the hundred chart. We count on seven in the row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus fifty-two is equal to fifty-nine. To add groups of ten, we count each square in a column going down. Each row is a 10, so as we go down the column, we can say 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. 17 plus 40, that's 17 plus 4 tens. We start at the 17, and we count on 4 tens going down the column. 1, 2, 3, 4. 17 plus 40 is equal to 57. 57. Let's try it again. 50 plus 35. 50 is 5 tens, so we're going to start with the 35 and count on 5 tens going down the column. We find the 35 on the 100 chart and count 5 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 85. 50 plus 35 is equal to 85. When we count on ones, we go across the row, even if it makes us go to the next row. When we add tens, we go down the column and add groups of 10. We can use the 100 chart to add 14 plus 60. 60 is six tens, isn't it? So we're going to start at the 14 and we're going to count down the column six tens. We find the 14 and we count down the column one, two, three, four, five, six tens. We land on 74. 14 plus 60 is equal to 74. 31 plus 4, we start at the 31 and count the row squares four, four hops. We find 31, we're going to add 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, we land on 35. 31 plus 4 is equal to 35. 73 plus 8, we start at the 73. We're adding ones, so we're going to go across the row. We find 73 and we add 8. Here's 73. We have to do 8 hops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we have to go to the next row for 8. We're at 
81. 73 plus 8 is equal to 81. We can add three add ends. 30 is 3 tens. 40 is 4 tens. We can start at the 25, count down the column three hops for three tens, then count down the column four hops for four more tens. So we're going to start at 25 and do three hops, then four hops in the column. We start at 25, we do three hops, one, two, three, that's three tens. Now we need four more tens, one, two, three, four. We land on 95. 25 plus 30 plus 40 is equal to 95. This three tens and four tens makes seven tens, doesn't it? We could have start, started at 25 and just hopped down the column seven tens. It would have been the same answer. There are 30 bees inside a hive. There are 30 bees outside a hive. 11 more bees come. How many bees are there in all? There were 30 and 30 and 11 more. 30 plus 30 plus 11. That's three tens plus three tens plus one ten plus one one, isn't it? We can start at the 30 and go down three more tens, one, two, three, we land on 60. We can add the one more 10, that would be 70. We can add the one more, that would put us to the next column of 71. The next row of 71. 30 plus 30 plus 11 is equal to 71. We could say, 30 plus 30 is equal to 60, plus the 11 is a 10 plus of 1, isn't it? If we broke the 11 apart, we could add the 60 plus the 10 from that 11 and get a 70, and then we could add a 1 and get 71. There would be 71 Bs. How else could we have done it? We could have started at the 11 and added three tens and three tens. One, two, three, one, two, three, 71. So you can use a hundred chart to help you add ones and tens. Just remember when you add the ones, you go across the row, and when you add the tens, you go down the column. Our next lesson is use models to add. That's gonna be lesson 8.5. And remember, coming up soon, in Lesson 8.7, we're going to be using place values to add tens. You can print a hundred chart from the internet. Just make sure it starts with a one and ends with a 100. It should start with a one up in the top corner, and it should end with a 100. Some of them start with a zero and end with a 99. We don't want that kind even though that's the kind I really prefer, we need to use this kind, starting at a 1 and ending with a 100, in order to do addition on a 100 chart, okay? Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!